Hi, welcome back to class. In this class, we want to take a worked example to help us understand multiplication of matrices better. In case you missed our last lesson on multiplication of matrices, please do not hesitate to check the description. We'll, we'll place a link in the description below for you to access that lesson. That said, let's get to class. For this example, we have two matrices. We have A and we have B. We are to determine three A, A dot B, and b dot a now why why i actually chose this example is to help us see how it works with scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication like we explained in our last lesson in case you missed that lesson please do not hesitate to check the description below and to ensure you always get our lessons anytime we create them i'll advise you hit the subscribe button that's where you'll be sure to get our lessons anytime we create them now, let's see the first example first question says we have to find a a now, to find 3a simply means we are multiplying 3 times the matrix A, which is 6, 1, 0, 4, 5, and 3. Now, so that I'll take each of the elements of this matrix and we'll multiply it by 3. That is, it becomes 6 times 3, then 0 times 3, 4 times 3, 1 times 3, 5 times 3, and lastly, we have 3 times 3. So that this now becomes 6 times 3 is 18, 11 times 3 is 33, 0 times 3 is 0, 5 times 3 is 15, 4 times 3 that's 12, and 9 times 3 times 3 that's 9. So the multiplication of 3 by e leads to this new. Let's see the second example, which tells us to multiply A and B. Now, to multiply A by B, I have it should give me AB, but when you're multiplying matrices, you must be careful with the order of the matrix. And this is multiplying 6, that's my A, 0, 5, 4, and 3. I'll be multiplying it with B, that's why I have 2, 8, minus 4, 9, 0, and 7. Now, remember when we're multiplying matrices, what we'll do is we'll pick the row, you multiply it by the column. And like I did explain in the in our last lesson, when you have to multiply two matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. Like in this matrix, now this matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix we are multiplying a 3 by 2 matrix. Obviously, the number of columns in this matrix is 3. It's multiplying another number of rows, which is 3. And this matrix will lead me to a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, let's see it. You see, we'll come out with a 2 by 2 matrix. So, my AB now will come from 6 times 2 plus 0 times 8 plus 4, that, sorry, this 4 times minus 4. This is the first set. Then the next element will come from 6 times 9 plus 0 times 0 plus 4 times 7. The next element, if now look at it, I've put this rule, the first rule up here, I've multiplied this column. I've put this rule the second time, I've multiplied the second column. Now I'm going to pick the second rule now, I multiply the first column to get the first element of this new matrix. It will come from 1 times 2 plus 5 times 8 plus 3 times minus 4. And the next element will come from 1 times 9 plus 5 times 0 plus 3 times 7. Then I can close the bracket. Now, so that B now will 
come from 6 times 2 that's 12 plus 0 times 8 that's 0 now minus minus 4 minus 4 times plus 4 that will be minus 16 then the next element will come from 6 times 9 that's 54 plus 0 times 0 that's 0 now plus 4 times 7 that's 28 then i have 1 times 2 that's 2 plus 5 times 8 that's 40 then minus 4 again times 3 that's minus 12 then i have 1 times 9 that's 9 plus 5 times 0 that's 0 plus 3 times 7 that's 21 and i can close my bracket now let's sum it up together so on summing it up, my AB now will come from 12 plus 0, that's 12, now plus 16, plus minus 16, that will be minus 4. And I have 54 again as my next element, plus 0, that's 54, plus 28. Let's say 54 plus 28 should, come, should be 82. Okay, that's 82. Two. Then lower part of the matrix, I have 2 plus 40, that's 42. 42 minus 12, that's 30. 42 minus 12, that's 30. And I have 9 plus 0 plus 21, that's 30 again. So that for, for this matrix, for my AB, my AB will come from minus 4, 82, 30. That's lap wants us to see B multiplied by A. If you look at this carefully, you see that B should come first. So that we'll have 2, 8, minus 4, mult 9, 0, 7, multiplying 6, 0, 4, 1, 5, 3. So that in this case, B is A, B by 2 matrix, multiplying A, which is a 2 by 3 matrix. So the number of rows or number of columns in B, which is 2, that's 2 columns, the same thing as the number of rows in A, which is also 2. So the products I will expect, I will expect a matrix which will be a 3 by 3 matrix. Our result should be a 3 by 3 matrix. Now let's see this, so that BA will come from first I'll pick 2 and 9 to multiply 6 and 1 my first item will be 2 times 6 plus 9 times 1 while my second item will be 2 times 0 multiplying 5 by 9 and my last item here will be 4 multiplying 2. Here's a plus. There's a plus here, sorry. 4 multiplying 2 plus 9 multiplying 3. The next item, I'll pick 8 and 0 now. I'll multiply 6 and 1. Then 0 and 5 like I did. And 4 and 3. So that this will be 8 times 6 plus 0 times 1 then the next item will come from 8 times 0 plus 5 times 0 then the last one on this roll will come from 8 times 4 plus 0 times you have to pick it one after the other. Now the last, I'll be using the last two rows now, the minus 4 and 7 here, to multiply each of these columns. Now this will come from minus 4 times 6 plus 7 times 1 and minus 4 times 0 plus 7 times 5 
and the last item will be minus 4 times 4 plus 7 times 3. Now, so that my BA now will now come from here I have 2 times 6, that's 12, plus 9 times 1, that's 9. Next, I have 2 times 0, that's 0, plus 5 times 9, that's 45. And I have 4 times 2, that's 8, plus 9 times 3, that's 27. And I have 8 times 6, 8 times 6, that's 48, plus 0 times 1, that's 0, and 8 times 0, that's 0, plus 5 times 0 again, that's plus 0, 8 times 4, that's 32, plus 0 times 3, that's 0, and then I have minus 4 times 6, that's minus 24, plus 7. And minus 4 times 0, that's 0, plus 7 times 5, that's 35. And minus 4 times 4, that's minus 16, and 7 times 3, that's 21. We can sum them up and have my final matrix. So my final matrix will come from 12 times 12 plus 9, that's 21. 0 plus 45, that's 45. 8 plus 27, that's 36, 35, that's 35. 48 plus 0, that's 48. 0 plus 0, that's 0, 32. And minus 24 plus 7, that's minus... 17. I'm right. I think minus 17. 0 plus 35, that's 35. Minus 16 plus 2, that's minus 14. With this worked example, I hope you, you understand how to work with matrix. In case you have questions, we'll appreciate you use our comment section. We'll be there to respond to your questions. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, we'll appreciate if you do subscribe to this channel. Thank you for staying with us and see you in our next class.